Hello everybody, my name is Kidpool67 and today we're going to be reviewing the Funko Pop San Diego Comic Con 2016 exclusive Five Nights at Freddy's Golden Freddy Pop. That was a mouthful and so let's get right into it. This is a, actually this is a present I got for my birthday. One of my friends, my friend Heather, got this for me for my birthday. So big thanks to her if she's watching this video, which she probably isn't, but if she is, thank you Heather. But yeah, but I've been wanting this pop for a while, but I never got around to buying it. And as you can see, it doesn't actually have the San Diego Comic Con sticker on it. It has the Summer Convention exclusive sticker because I obviously didn't get this at Comic Con. So the ones that were left over, they put this sticker on instead of the San Diego Comic Con one. But yeah, but on the front of the packaging, you can see it says Golden Freddy right there. It shows artwork of Golden Freddy right there. On the top it says Pop Games, Five Nights at Freddy's, number 119. On the side... You can see it says Pop Games right there, Golden Freddy, number 119. In the back, you can see it says Pop Games, Five Nights at Freddy's, number 119. Golden Freddy right there. Then all these ones that we've already reviewed. Freddy, Bonnie, Chica, Foxy, the Pirate, Springtrap, Nightmare Freddy. And collect the entire line of Funko Pop Five Nights at Freddy's Super Stylized Figures. 2016, Scott Cawthon, Funko. On the side, you can see it's Funko Pop Games, Golden Freddy, number 119. Top of his head right there. On the bottom, got all this good stuff if you want to read that bullshit then pause it now and on the top of the packaging you can see it shows his face again and just says pop games for the millionth time all right guys so let's go ahead and crack this thing open and get a closer look at the pop inside all right guys so here he is out of the packaging and i gotta say this pop is a little bit heavier than normal size pops i don't know if it counts as a specialty pop because it was an exclusive or what but this thing's a little bit heavier than normal pops also, on the back of his head, his head's got like a den in it. I'm not sure if that's just the way it's supposed to be or what. There's like a... I can't tell. I don't think it was on the rest of the Freddy Pops. Either it's a flaw or it's just the way they had the prototype because this is actually kind of the pop that came out before the rest of the Five Nights at Freddy's Pops. But yeah, this is also my first ever metallic pop and I love it. It's cool. Like, I'm not going to get too much into collecting metallic pops, but... I also kind of hope they make a normal Golden Freddy, like one where he's not super metallic, where he's just yellow, like in the game. But until then, I got this one. But yeah, this has very nice detail. It might be kind of hard for me to focus in some spots, just warning you, because this is a metallic pop. And right off hand, this thing does not have a neck swivel. I'm not sure if it's just with mine, but mine, it's stuck, or it just isn't supposed to have one. So I'm not going to force it, because I don't care anyway. But yeah... But he has very nice detail all over. There's not too many paint flaws on this one. There's like a little black speck on his hand from the head or from the microphone. But other than that, this pop is painted pretty well. It's very metallic e color and shiny, and you can actually even see the handle inside of his hand of the microphone right there. That's weird. This is actually easier to focus on than normal pops. All well, sort of. But yeah, then under there you can see the ugly lines from where the head attaches to the neck. And yeah, I'm not sure if this is supposed to have a swivel or not. I haven't seen a review of it in a while. But yeah, this thing has... It doesn't have too many paint flaws. Like, the only biggest paint flaw that I find annoying is this little speck on his tooth. The black speck. But the bow tie is painted very well. The side of his face is painted really cool. The eye is... One of the eyes is a little bit off from the other. Like, it's not straight in the middle, but it's still okay. It just kind of looks like if you have it sort of like that. It's like he's sort of looking at you. Eh, more like that, I guess. He's looking at you. But yeah, this is a very, very nice pop. Feels like, I don't know, maybe it's just because it's cool because I've been wanting like an exclusive, like a very rare exclusive, and this is sort of a rare exclusive. So I feel like it's nice to have like a gem in my collection. But yeah, this is nice. Like, for some reason on the inside of the ears, his ears ain't the shade, same shade of like gold. It's like yellow instead of gold or greenish yellow. Or yellowish green or something. But yeah, it looks really nice the way they did it. He has little freckles on his face that look really nice. He has the silver where his ears are attached to his head. He has a hat, and the hat's obviously painted good because it's just a solid black mostly. Painted on the top good. And those eyes, like... I, I haven't seen too many pops where the eyes are more than one shade, like... Most pops, see the eyes are just black, or they're just red, or they're just yellow, but with this pop, it's black, and then there's the little, um, white inside of the black, or the white, like, shading inside of it, I guess, the dots, which looks really nice. The only other pop I have that's like this is the Glow in the Dark Nightmare Freddy, which he has red dots in, in the middle of the black eyes. But yeah, 
This actually might be one of my new favorite pops in my Five Nights at Freddy's Pop Collection, just because it's a little bit heavier than normal size pops. It just feels very sturdy, it's painted very well, and it's golden, so you feel like it's very... I don't know, it just seems like a very nice pop compared to the rest of them, even. But yeah, but I highly recommend this pop if you're a fan of Five Nights at Freddy's, or if you're a fan of just pops, or you just want a metallic -y gold bear for no reason, and you just want it, then also get it. But Or if you're just a fan of, like, Golden Freddy and he's your favorite character, I just highly recommend this pop. If you think it looks cool, then you should totally get it. It's, it's not a letdown at, at any means. It's a very, very nice pop. I finally got it, and it exceeded my expectations. So like I said, I highly recommend this pop. And that's pretty much it for this review, guys. If you like this video, leave a like, comment, share, and subscribe a night. And stay tuned for more videos by KidPool67. Talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.